What if you could use the law of attraction to create more time? In this video, I'm going to address one of the biggest challenges that we all face, which could be blocking your ability to achieve success, accomplish goals, and even sabotage your ability to make money. And that is the relationship that you have with time. I'm going to be sharing a super effective strategy on how you can manifest more time in your day. And I'm also going to help you to eliminate any of the limiting beliefs that there isn't enough time. So stay tuned for an empowering video, which is going to help you put more time back into your day. Hello, powerful manifestors. I'm Victoria Gallagher, law of attraction hypnotist and number one best selling author of Practical Law of Attraction. And I am here to help you tap into the power of your mind, align yourself with the manifesting conditions, and successfully attract your dreams, your goals, and a life that you love. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon so that you are notified whenever I come out with new videos. So yesterday I was having one of those days when it just felt like there's never enough time in the day. Do you ever feel like that? If you're watching this video, then I bet you can relate. If you're an entrepreneur, you are are extremely busy. You've got constant ideas flowing through your mind. You've got social media to keep up with. You're working on multiple projects at a time. There are things that you need to do around the house. There are people that you want to spend time with. You have administrative tasks. You've got thousands of emails to answer. You need to promote yourself. You need to learn more about your chosen field. You've got to keep up with what's going on in the world, not to mention taking time every day to meditate and do your hypnosis and write in your journal. You need to make time to exercise, to cook, to clean, and the list just goes on and on. So how do you keep up with it all? So if you're anything like me, it can be like eight o'clock at night and you're still running around trying to get stuff accomplished. And it can be really easy to have that feeling like you're running out of time. So don't you wish that you had more time in the day? What would you do if you just had more time in your day? Leave me a comment below and let me know what you would do if you had more time in your day. Just write down, if I had more time in my day, I would. And that's gonna really help set you up and get the ball rolling here. But when you're so busy, it can really feel like you don't have enough time to do all the things that really matter to you, to focus on your dreams, to really achieve your goals. You feel like you're running around in a thousand different directions without really making a whole lot of progress on anything. And it can get really discouraging and frustrating. And you've probably thought to yourself something like, if I only had more time, then I could do the things that I really wanted to do. Or I wish I had more hours in the day. Have you ever like wished you had like 25, 30, 35, 40 hours in a single day? Then you could get all the things done. And the truth of the matter is we are all given the same amount of time, the same 24 hours hours and some people manage to get a whole lot more things done and that and they're a lot more productive what if there was a way that you could manifest the experience of having more time in your day well, there is a way and here's how you do it. So I'm going to suggest that you set aside a very small amount of time just for you first thing in the morning, however much time you can do, whether it's five minutes, whether it's 10 minutes, whether it's 20 minutes, a half hour, just do it. Take this time first thing in the morning. Even if you have to wake up just a little bit earlier in order to do this. All right. So you're going to get up and you're going to wake up and you're going to say today is a brand new day. Go ahead and type this in the comments so you can remember today is a brand new day. 
All right, number two, I have a blank canvas. And number three, I can create anything that I want. So I want you to say those three things when you first get up. You're gonna get up, you're gonna get out of bed, you're gonna drink a glass of water, a full glass of water that's gonna energize, it's gonna get the blood flowing, and then just you know splash some water on your face, really wake yourself up, walk around for a little bit. Go into a sanctuary in your, in your house, wherever you are, wherever you can be quiet, for about, you know, that length of time, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever you decided that you're allowed to take for yourself and the longer, the better. All right. But you can start off with just five minutes. If you're not used to doing this and get into a comfortable seated position, and you're just going to sit in complete silence, set a timer on your phone, you can use the insight timer app if you want and during this time all i want you to do is just focus on your breathing nothing else if you find yourself thinking about anything at all just bring your attention back to your breathing this is time for you now i don't want you to manipulate your breath or try to slow it down or do anything to change it i just want you to be aware of how you're breathing it's going to probably slow down all on its own so just allow yourself that time to be with your breathing be with yourself not even your thoughts because you're not your thoughts you are that being that's just being aware in that moment of your breathing and it, like i said if thoughts are going to drift away whenever they do bring just notice it and bring your focus back to your breath whenever you notice yourself starting to think bring the thoughts back to your breathing now doing a short meditation like this first thing in the morning right after your body and your mind become alert, what it does is it does two things. The first thing is that you are connecting to your higher self. You're connecting to your spiritual self. You're connect connecting to your intuition and your intuition is always there. Your intuition is always trying to guide you to your highest purpose in life but you just need to tune into it and listen. And it's going to help you to focus on what's most important to you, because that's the thing when it comes to your time is you don't feel like you're getting to focus on what's really important, what really matters to you when it's all said and done. The second benefit of this is say that you, you say that you want more time in your day. And the way that the law of attraction works is that it gives you more of what you are grateful for. So when you sit down for this five minutes, this 10 minutes, this 20 minutes, however long, I want you to also feel the gratitude for this time. Right when you begin the meditation, just say, thank you for this time. And maybe when you end the meditation again, thank you for this time and when you're doing that just really feel the gratitude allow yourself to breathe that in feel that gratitude because the universe is always reflecting back to you how you are already feeling and what's going to happen is it's going to find more time for you to feel grateful for it's just the way that it works Conversely, if you keep complaining and feeling like there's not enough time, guess what? The universe is going to continue to show you that you don't have enough time. So by simply taking this little five minutes of time, quieting your mind, you are showing the universe exactly what you want. And you are literally manifesting more time for yourself by creating it. Just really be present, really be in the moment, and the universe will open up and give you evidence that you really do have more time.
So now let's do just a little bit of work around transforming that limiting belief that there isn't enough time in the day to get things done. Let's transform that limiting belief that there isn't enough time into an empowering belief. So here are some empowering beliefs that you can choose to take on for yourself, that you can choose to replace that old belief with. And so go ahead and write in the comments any of these new beliefs that you would like to become your own empowering belief. Okay, so here they are. The first empowering belief is I am becoming super aware of how I spend my time. I make time for my most important tasks. I create a schedule which gives me time freedom. I am in control of my time and my life. I love getting lots of things done with plenty of time left over. And I have a choice in how I spend my day. And finally, I stay focused on being productive. So just let me know in the comments, which of these new empowering beliefs that you're going to choose to say to yourself throughout the day from this moment forward, go ahead and write one of those in the comments. Now, the next thing is the best way to take action on these empowering beliefs is to work on the one thing that matters to you most first part of your day. All right. So here are the action steps that I want you to take at the end of the day, before your day gets started, the end of the day before, I want you to write down all the tasks that you intend to get done in the next day. Then I want you to organize those tasks by importance. Determine what is your most important task for the day ahead. And then when you wake up after you have finished your meditation, the first thing you do in the morning is to give all of your attention to working on that one task until it is done, until it's complete. And then just simply repeat this process for each and every other task on your list. Do this every day for the next 30 days. And before you know it, you will have created an amazing habit. Just by making progress on one task, you're going to feel so much more productive and feeling productive is going to give you that confidence that you can be productive in other areas by taking actions. You are also rewriting those limiting beliefs that there's not enough time in the day. And your new belief becomes there's plenty of time to do what matters because I work on what matters first. So I want to conclude today's video with a few affirmations. And so go ahead and write any of these affirmations in the comments that resonate most with you that you could take on and say to yourself on a daily basis. Here we go. There is more than enough time to accomplish the tasks that matter most. I am dedicated to getting the most important things done each day. I am finding it easier and easier to be focused. I single mindedly focus on one task at a time. I am becoming more productive day by day. I have the strength to control my thoughts. I finish the tasks that matter most first thing. I am passionate about getting things done that are important to me. Okay, now let me know which of these affirmations you enjoyed the most in the comments. Now, another way that you can conquer your time management is by using my HypnoCloud app. HypnoCloud has an amazing hypnosis session called Develop Time Management Skills. And in just 23 minutes a day, you can learn to fit everything you need to get done in naturally and easily and become more in control of your time. And another one that I would recommend inside the app is 
increase productivity, which is also designed to help you to accomplish more in your day. So listen to either of these sessions or both every day for the next 30 days and notice how you find yourself manifesting more time. All right, so if you enjoyed this video and got value out of it, please leave a comment and let me know. And let me know that you are manifesting more time to do what's important. At least comment that. And be sure to share this video with any friends or family who might need a shift in their beliefs about how much time they have and their ability to get things done. Now, if you haven't already done so, be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon so that you're notified whenever I come out with new videos and be sure to download my HypnoCloud app with over 500 amazing hypnosis sessions for you to choose from. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.